Now, dear student, we are going to discuss question number 1.8. In this question, it is given to you two point charges QA that is 3 micro coulomb and QB minus 3 micro coulomb are placed at 20 centimeter apart in vacuum. This is given to you in a question. Clear? Now, option, now we have part number A. What is electric field at the midpoint O on the line AB and joining the two charges? Okay, fine. Second, we have to find if we put a negative test charge of magnitude 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb or we can say 1.5 nano coulomb, then what will be the force this is experienced by this test charge, clear? So this is a question related to electric field, clear? So we can say whenever we have a charge and definitely at that time we can say that due to that charge we have an electric field. So when we place an another charge in that electric field, it will experience a force, clear? So in this question, we have to find number one, electric field at the midpoint, that is line joining two charges, clear? Second, our objective here is to calculate force, this is acting on a test charge, clear? So now we are going to discuss solution, so concentrate on a screen. Listen carefully. In this question, it is given to you, we have two point charges. So let's suppose I'm taking here, let's suppose this is A, this is a point charge and let's suppose here we have this is point charge B, clear? And value of QA, this is given to you plus 3 micro coulomb and value of QB, this is given to you minus 3 micro coulomb, clear to you? It is located at 20 centimeter apart in vacuum. So we can see value of R, this is given to you 20 centimeter. Clear to everyone? Okay. Now what is electric field at midpoint O of the line joining AB between the two charges? Means let's suppose I am taking here a point, let's suppose this is point O and this point O is a midpoint between A and B. Clear? Now how we will find here the net electric field? Clear? First we have to find net electric field at O. Clear? So first we find here direction. Actually, electric field is a vector quantity. So we can say it will have number one magnitude, second one is direction. So first we find here direction logically or you can also utilize here vector method. Clear? So I am finding here electric field direction first logically, then I will calculate here magnitude. Clear? So now concentrate on a screen. So now we can say electric field due to charge A this is equal to, we can say because this is positive charge, so we can say electric field direction is always away from a charge, clear? If we concentrate on a charge B, so definitely we can say electric field is acting in the direction of OB, clear? Because this is negative charge, electric field direction at any point always uh, towards the charge, clear? So what is net electric field at point O? So this is given by, we can say this is E A plus E B. Clear to everyone? So, now we can calculate here value of E A. How can we calculate? Now we know that E A due to point charge we can write like this Q A over this is uh, we can say R by 2 whole square. Yes or no? So from here you can write like this value of K we have uh, 9 or directly you can first write like this. This is K value of Q A. Clear? So we can say this is QA and we can say this is 10 centimeter. So we can say 10 minus 2 whole square. Yes or no? So this is value of EA. Same if we find value of EB, how can we write here? We can write like this EB. This should be given by K QB divided by this is 10 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square. Clear to you? So now we are going to calculate value of electric field. So we can write like this. K value of E, we can say this is equal to K divided by 10 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square, clear? And in the bracket we have QA plus QB. So this is QA plus QB, clear to everyone? So now we can put here value 9 into 10 to the power 9 divided by, this is 10 to the power minus 1, so we can say this is 10 to the power minus 2 multiply QA plus QB. QA plus QB, QA is given to you, this is, uh, we can say 3 micro coulomb, okay, important point, here you cannot write minus, because we have already taken here direction logically, so we will put just magnitude here, clear, so we can say here we have 3 plus 3, this is micro coulomb, so we can write like this, minus 6, 
yes or no so from here we can say this is what 10 to the power minus 4 so 9 multiply 6 we have here this is 54 so this is 54 multiply 10 to the power 9 and this is 10 to the power minus 4 so we can say 10 to the power 5 clear what is unit of electric field we can say this is newton per coulomb clear so now we can write like this now we can say like this value of electric field we have at point O this is given by 5.4 into 10 to the power 6 and this is Newton per coulomb clear to everyone so this is value of net electric field at point O clear now we are going to discuss part number B in part number B it is given if we put a negative test charge of magnitude this one at this point what is force experienced by test charge clear so now listen carefully yes so if we talk about part b now we are placing here a negative test charge clear negative test charge means what we can say if we are placing here negative test charge what is direction of force clear listen carefully if i again draw here diagram it will be better yes <clears throat> listen carefully so let's suppose here we have a test charge uh, i mean h uh, point charge this is a and this is b clear this is given to you in a question qa this is equal to plus 3 micro coulomb and qb this is equal to minus 3 micro coulomb yes now we are placing here our test charge and this is negative test charge so we can say this is 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb clear because this is negative test charge so first we will find here direction of a force so we can see we can write like this force this is exerted by a on o clear this is in this direction because this is positive this is negative attractive force will act here we have negative test charge negative charge and here we are having negative test charge so it will repel and we will find here this direction f ob like this clear now if we calculate f net we can write like this f net this is given by we can say f o a plus or uh, we can say or we can write like this f net f net equal to we can say test charge that we are placing at point o and electric field at o yes or no so we can say test charge value is given to you 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 9 so we can write like the 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 9 multiply value of electric field at o this is 5.4 into 10 to the power 6 yes or no this is given to you yes so from here we can see we can write like this this is 10 to the power minus 3 clear and we can say this is what 2.7 clear so from here we can write like this this is what 8.4 uh, I mean 8.1 8.1 clear 8.1 into 10 to the power minus 3 Newton clear so this is value of force this is exerted on a test charge clear so this is all about this question